check nyo, probability na we have zero client in the system that is equivalent to 0 0.0. 0.8. And as you can see guys, pababa ng pababa yung probabilities, the more napataas ng pataas yung number of clients inside the system. That is the logic. Hello everyone, so welcome to our discussion regarding the application of MM1, which is our first model of the queuing theory in the POMQM software or the POMCOM software. Okay, so we have here the notation, ulitin ko lang, no? na present na to before sa manual, pero for the sake of having the POMCOM discussion, I will repeat the model uh, representation, the notation representation. Again, for the first model MM1, the arrival is Poisson distribution. Service time is exponential. And we have one server na open. Okay, so for our problem here, we have here the Angie, the branch manager of Citibank. And she wants to improve the service of the bank by reducing the average waiting time of the bank's clients. She was able to determine the average arrival and the average number of clients serviced per hour. The figures are summarized in the table below or rather in the next slide. How many clients are in the bank at any given time? How much time does a client spend in the bank? How many clients are waiting to be served? And how much time does a client spend waiting? What is the probability that the teller is busy? And what is the probability that there are no clients? So here are the data na meron tayo. So for the ta data table, number of tellers is 1. That's why MM1 tayo. Arrivals and service is 11 and 2. That is the lambda and the mu. Now, since this is the application of the first model in the POMCOM software, hindi ko na po ituturo yung manual dahil tapos na yun, No, We have here now the complete answers na on each of the statistical tables na kailangan natin na values dito. For the number of clients in the system, we have computed before manually that it is 11. For the average hours, client spends in system is 1. Average clients waiting online is 10.08. Average waiting hours per client is 0 0.91 hours. Probability that the teller is busy is 0 0.9167. And probability that there are no client is 0. 08. Now, for the costing, we have here the data for the cost. Service cost per tether is $5 per hour. Cost of waiting is $6 per hour. And the working hours per shift is 8 hours tayo. And using the manual computations before, we have computed that the total cost is 65.50 per hour. And converted into per shift basis, it will be $524 per Shift. Now, let's go to our POMCOM software. Let's input all of this data para makita natin paano siya sinusolve sa software and uh, the other informations na meron tayong pwedeng makita using this software, especially the graphs of this queuing theory. Okay? So, let's start and let's go rather to our POMCOM software. Okay, we are now here in the software. So most importantly is to set first the module into the waiting line. So click this module, then waiting lines. Upon clicking, let's just write here since our problem is all about city bank 1 and 2. Let's write here city bank 1 and 2. Okay, then with cost, no? Let's use cost analysis. Then, okay. Okay, now, we are here sa ating uh, input window. So, for the arrival, our our arrival based on the given before no or the value ng ating lambda is equivalent to 11 while for the service rate there is equivalent to 12. Number of servers automatic na po ito na may nakalagay na na 1 since we have choose the model dito sa ating software na MM1. Okay, so for the server cost, this is guys 
the given sa ating cost table, which is the service cost per teller, magkano yung labor ng teller, that is $5 per hour. So, let's write here, 5 And for the waiting cost, uh, dollars per hour, that is equivalent to 6 This is also given on our problem. No? Uh, equivalent siya to $6. Now, let's solve this equation, uh, rather, let's solve this model, MM1, model number 1 of queuing theory. Uh, check nyo muna, no? 11... 12, 1, and 5, and of course, the 6. Then, let's click. Kapag okay na, let's click the button solve. Okay. Guys, upon clicking, automatically, it will give you the final answers on the queuing systems na meron tayo. Now, as you can see, balik tayo doon sa ating PowerPoint presentation. So, ito po. No, number of clients in the system, 11. Average hours client spends in the system, 1. Nasaan po yun? Ito siya. 11 and one. Average number in the system. Uh, in the software, guys, L sub S siya. Pero it is just the same with L. Kasi yung, yung S dito stands for the whole system. No? Same lang po yun. 11. And of course, sa waiting then average time in the system na nag wait ang mga clients natin sa whole system, kaya W sub S. Pero it is just equals to W itself. No? That is the one. Next. Uh, we have here L sub Q and W sub Q, 10.08 and 0 0.92. So, L sub Q, 10.08 and W sub Q, 0 0.92. Next, ano pa meron tayo? Probability that the teller is busy is 0 0.92, while the probability that there are no clients is 0 0.08. Nasaan po yun? No, wala pa yan actually ngayon, yung... No, uh, no client, ang meron tayo is average server utilization. This is equivalent to the probability that the teller is busy, 0 0.92. That's why nakita nyo dito, 0 0.92. Yung server na tinutukoy dito sa software, guys, is the teller ng bank. No, that, yun kasi yung serve as server because siya yung nagbibigay ng service with the client. So, utilized siya yung tao na yun, yung teller na yun, utilized siya up to 92%. Now, as you can see, we have here the cost na 65.5 and the 71. Itong 71, hindi natin siya na-compute sa manually. Pero it is just the same. No, derived lang kasi ito sa cost ng labor plus yung number in the system natin. Then yung mul multiplied siya sa waiting cost. Ang kinumpute lang kasi natin is yung cost then, ng lab labor plus yung number of waiting sa pila lang, hindi kasama yung nasa server. Yun kasi yung system, no? Multiplied to waiting cost. That is 65.5. And ito po yun, no? Sa ating final answer, the total cost, 65.5 na nag-wait. Kasi wala naman tayong given na buong system yung kukuhanin. Ang binibigay lang sa atin is yung cost of waiting lang. That's why we don't have here the 71 na value. Pero kung gusto nyo, pwede rin naman. No? So that is the answers sa ating POMCOM software. Now, as you can see guys, sabi ko nga kanina, wala doon yung 0 0.08 na probability that there are no clients. Bakit? Kasi makikita nyo po siya dito sa table. If itataas nyo to, no? ito yun. That is the key. Probabilities. This is actually the table of probabilities. So if we are trying to find the probability na walang client, that is zero client. Kung titignan nyo, no, 0 0.08 yung lumabas. And ito po yun, no, 0 0.08. Katumbas niya, kapag naman si number, the probability na number in systems is less than or equals to K, which is negative, wala naman ng ganun, no, kaya nang equal siya na 0 0.08. 0, 8. Now, counterpart niya naman itong part na to, probability ng number in system is greater than k. Ano po yung k natin? 0. So, that is the 0 0.92. If we will go into add this, 0 0.92 and 0 0.08 equivalent siya sa 1 or 100%. Itong 0 0.92 Ito yung sinasabi niya na uh, ano yung probability na meron tayong mas mataas sa K, which is 0. So, meron tayong mas mataas sa 0. Ano po yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. That is equivalent to 0 0.92. Or, this is the same with the average server utilization. Dahil nga merong tao na, na, na isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, ibig sabihin, BC yung nag natin na teller. BC yung nag-iisang server natin and that is equivalent to 0.92 or 
20%. Ito rin po yun pagating sa PowerPoint. Average probability that the teller is busy, 0.92. Okay? I hope you get it. Now, if you check the table of probabilities, guys, kapag, uh, kapag meron tayong, kung titignan natin, no? Ano yung probability na meron tayong 10 kliyente sa loob ng pila? That is 0.03. Ano yung probability na meron tayong mas mababa sa 10? That is 0.62. Ano yung probability na meron tayo na mas mataas sa 10? That is 0.38. Ayun lang po yung sinasabi na itong table na to. And if you wanted to graph this table, magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong graph. Yung graph for the probability itself, this uh, second column, and the graph kapag mas mababa doon sa values ng k, that is the third column, and the third graph is the graph when the number in the system is greater than our k, that is the fourth and last column. Nasaan po may kita yung graph na yun? Just go dito sa baba na to, palakihin nyo yan. Ayan, no probabilities. Check nyo, probability na we have zero client in the system that is equivalent to 0. 08. And as you can see guys, pababa ng pababa yung probabilities, the more napataas ng pataas yung number of clients inside the system. That is the logic. Now, that is the probability itself where, where n is equals to k. Now, we, let's check this cumulative probabilities where n is less than or equals to k. As you can see, no, itong 0.08 Doon din siya nag-start sa zero na number in the system, clients in the system, 0 0.08, 0 0.08 din ito. Dahil nga po, cumulative ito. Therefore, pataas ng pataas. No, padagdag ng padagdag, cumulative nga eh. Kaya pagdating sa dulo, nag-equal siya sa 1 or 100%. Okay, I hope you get it. Now, kabalik na naman dito sa decumulative. Ito po yung pinapakita ko kanina dito. Ito yung last na column, decumulative siya, pababa ng pababa, from 0 0.92, 0 0.84, 0 0.77, 0 0.40 na dito, pagating ng 22 na kayo, oh, tingnan natin sa graph, ito po, pababa ng pababa dahil decumulative siya, ang sinasabi lang po nito, na ang, ang, when the number in the system, clients in the system is 0, we have 0 0.92 probabilities na BC si Teller. Kung bagay yung 0.08 is ayun yung hindi na shade na part. Kabaliktaran kasi ito. No, binaliktad lang netong isa. Okay? So, kaya dito, pababa naman siya ng pababa. And that's how the graph in the POMCOM is analyzed. No? Pero kung ako sa inyo, mas madali, tingnan nyo na lang itong basic na probability graph. Ito lang yung sinasabi niya. No? And I hope you guys learn from this simple and Medyo mabilis yata ako <laughs> na explanation. No? Madali lang naman itong si Cubing Theory. Ang idea lang dito is you know how to balance those numbers and of course how to interpret those numbers into deep uh, level. Okay? So thank you for being with me sa pag-aaral ng applications of the first model of the Cubing Theory in the POMQM software. Thank you guys. Keep safe always. See you in our next presentation. Bye-bye. Good luck on your studies.